Hello everyone. Today I want to discuss a special project. Um, the project itself is not that special. Uh, the technique is. So I knew how to handle image files um, on, on FreeCAD from a couple tutorial videos, especially from Mango Jelly. And then this new point to one came in and then that image workbench is not there anymore. And there comes Mango Jelly again. He showed how to work with these image files in this point to one version without the workbench. And and I said, yeah, okay. But it only occurred to me today that I could use one of these standard drawings in, in image file in, in my advantage in during sketching so f over the last month I've been sketching every day building a model every day and then I found out it's the sketching takes more time than actually you know doing the job so it's like thinking and sketching takes more time and this image file actually could take that sketching time down to uh, like you know I must say between 25 percent to 50 percent uh so so it it in my mind it it played pretty good that i could use an image file to sketch something i wouldn't have to think everything in my mind uh, i mean it's good that if if somebody can think everything in their mind you know have a mind picture of what they're gonna draw but it helps if there is a already standard drawing there uh, it helps you know uh not to put a lot of pressure on your brain, you know, precious brain. So that's what I did today. I imported the image file and then uh, as you saw at the beginning of this clip, uh, double clicking on it, it, it lets you manipulate this uh, image file, you know, from here and there. First thing I did was scale it. So I will uh, have a more detailed video in, in near future on this on this image file manipulation and, and, and using it on your advantage but today is kind of like overview so first step first first thing is to import the file and then uh, double click on it and then calibrate it so that's like in the scaling the file and also um, you want to I want to say which plane the file is currently this this file this image file I'm handling is on XZ plane because I wanted to get this um, front view constructed throughout. So uh, from the plan, you can see this total length of this body is 56. So I drew this face and then extruded it symmetrically. It is important to make it symmetrical. Symmetrically, 56 millimeters. Um, so that's my that's my length, entire the length of the body is done. And now I want to actually relocate the the image in a different plan uh, on this cross section where I want to work on the cross section take out this this cylindrical part that I want to take out and then I want to relocate this this image file to its new center so keep in mind that relocating this like transforming this image file um, it doesn't affect your body so I transform the image file however the the body that I constructed is still at the same center it is so it's the file that's moving not the body that we worked on uh, with that idea I took this image from one center to other and then I want to build this other sketch so essentially what I'm doing is I'm not cutting any corner I'm just using this sketch building uh, a lot easier using this this standard guidance and it helps me draw this line and then you know one line so previously if it was like a 40 millimeter I drew 4 millimeter and then this entire sketch would, would go crazy if I did one dimension now at least I don't have to do that so on this one I'm building half of the object and then I want to actually um, mirror it on the other side which I could have done on the previous part too but uh, you know I didn't th think about that like that time so this one I built half of it I want to do a revelation to build the 
cylindrical part that I'll be cutting away and you will notice that I'll be building the whole 360 degree whether I, the body is only one, 180 degree. Uh, the idea is I'll be cutting this part away so if there is some extra it will be gone anyway. It's not the main body that will stay, it's the cut out. So uh, I could go, you know, full 360 and then I mirror it. I get my full cut out. I want to make it a union. Now I want to bring back my original extrude and then cut things away. So there comes my inside work. So firstly, I built the shell. Now I worked on the inside. Now I want to work on these four holes and, and then bolt holes that I want to work on. And I want to use the plan on this image file in my advantage. So I don't have to like, you know, think about where it will go. I just want to transfer that image to this new center. And it's easy. Just double click on it, change the image plane and move it to the new center. On this one, I, an eyeballing would work. And, and again, I am moving the file, not the object. So uh, as close as possible is good if it is not exactly on, on top of it. So uh, I, I, I found that it, we don't have to worry about it. Like for this one, you will see that I'm, I'm moving by 0.2 millimeter just to make it as close as I could. Um, because it's a small object, but they, it's just for having an idea actually where my sketch will be. Because I want to draw a 45 angle, say, sector uh, of, of a part of the circle. And sometimes it goes like whole circle uh, because of the dimensions. And using this file, I didn't have that issue anymore. So on this one, I can get an idea of where these four tiny holes that will through holes what they will be. I want to draw those out. I want to extrude it all the way up. Again, it will be cutting out so I don't have to worry about how tall it is. Like, you know, I just, I, I want to build that sketch using this image picture. Um, and then just, just extrude it up however many millimeters I want. As long as they go through the object, it's fine. So say the total height is 41 millimeter. Uh, for this one, I guess I go 45. Yes, so, and then I want to cut it out. I want to worry about this bold head um, housing later on. So I'm just going, get working on the through holes now. Um, and another tool is the transparency of the object that I'm working on. Um, I can manipulate it to, to make it more advantageous on me. So on, on this one now, I will have to build a plane some height above 20.5. You can see it from the corner of the, the, the face that this, this um, bolt heads, that, that housing goes 20.5 point and above. So it doesn't go. So I, I, when I was doing that, I could take this image up by 20.5 or I, what I did was like draw the sketch at 20.5 offset. Uh, either way, now I'm, I'm, I'd rather use this sketch holes. Those are more accurate than the, than the image. But so you get the idea building the sketch, having something to refer to. It, it, it always helps. It, it always helps with the dimension and stuff. So, um, and, and then manipulating the, the image file on its different faces, X, Y, X, Z, and Y, Z plane, it also helped me. And, and I, I found it really interesting today. I thought I would do a quick video. Um, see, that, that was easy. So there sits my, the, the plane that I'll be cutting out. Now I want to cut it out to make that hole. Uh, those four holes. What I wanted to focus more is using the standard drawing in my advantage to, to, to do these sketches. Um, again, it's not cutting the corner. I'm just using a different tool from my shade in, in my advantage. And also, uh, it looks cool that the plan is there, the object is there on the same plan. 
I saw one of these pictures on the website uh, and I saw like, oh, they did, once they built the ob object, they kind of like did some Photoshop or something, but uh, I guess this is the way to do it. Like, you know, makes it look good, change the color to look at exactly at, as the object. Um, I am excited about this new tool. I will be doing a detailed thorough video on how to use this standard drawings to our advantage on this model building. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in those next videos coming forward. I'm really excited about it as a beginner. Hopefully you are too.